Hello everyone. In this video we'll be talking about the diagnostic algorithm for tuberculosis. When the patient presents with any cardinal symptoms of TB, he or she would be undergoing sputum smear examination and chest x-ray. Following which, we have four different results. The following results are 1. Smear positive and chest x-ray suggestive of TB. 2. Smear positive but chest x-ray not suggestive of TB. 3. Smear negative but chest x-ray suggestive of TB. 4. Smear negative or not available. And chest x-ray not suggestive of TB. Or, not available. Results with positive smear. And chest x-ray are considered microbiologically confirmed TB. Results with smear positive but chest x-ray not suggestive are also categorized under microbiologically confirmed TB. Results with smear negative but chest X-ray suggestive of TB undergo cartridge-based nucleic acid amplification test, CBNAAT. Finally results with smear negative or not available, and chest X-ray not suggestive of TB, or not available, with high clinical suspicion will also undergo CBNAT. People living with HIV and those coming under programmatic management of drug-resistant tuberculosis, PMDT, and high multidrug resistance, MDR, settings, also undergo CBNAT. The results under CBNAT are presented as mycobacterium tuberculosis, MTB, detected, and MTB not detected or CBNAT not available. Those patients in whom MTB detected are divided into rifampicin sensitive, rifampicin indeterminate, and rifampicin resistance. Patients who are rifampicin sensitive are classified under microbiologically confirmed TB. When there's rifampicin indeterminate result the CBNAT has to be repeated on the second sample and, if the results are indeterminate, then collect fresh sample for liquid culture, or, line probe assay, LPA. Patients who are rifampicin resistant are managed under drug resistant TB algorithm. Those patients in whom MTB not detected or CBNAT not available. Alternative diagnosis is considered and referred to a specialist for the further management. Following which, either the patient could be classified as clinically diagnosed TB, or there could be an alternative diagnosis.